Hello, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for my Libras. All right, how are you guys doing? We're going to go ahead and get started here. Remember, there's a love bonus at the end of this reading. So we're starting out with um, positive movement forward, but it looks like we're going backwards because it is in the reverse here. So that means some of your desires are lacking. Some of the things that you want in life, you feel like you can't move forward uh, because something may be blocking you. So what the best thing to do is to set your intentions on what you really want. And the thing is, yeah, there's a new beginning that you want to start, but for some reason you can't get it off the ground. So what you're going to do is just remain in solitude for right now and maybe do some research. OK, try to discover what it is that you really want and how to be able to obtain this new beginning that you want. Because This is something that's very practical. This is something that you want to be able to touch, feel and see here. All right, we do have destiny coming your way and you're going to get some clarity and you're going to get clarity about why is uh what's the reason you can't move forward here. So something is going to become clear to you and your destiny is coming. All right. As far as what you want, this looks like this has something to do with your past, whether it's family, friends or relationship um, that you might have to go back to to gain this clarity here. At the end, there is this uh, deception and envy. So I feel like you're going to find out what it is. It may be somebody that may be holding you back from this type of situation. Yeah, there may be somebody um, from your past. Because you will definitely come out of this financial uh, material and changes. You will definitely come out from this financial restraint that you feel like you uh, are going through. So maybe there is some type of negative energy around you that is trying to control your finances or control the way that you move. All right. Looks like either the authorities are going to get involved or you're going to begin to step in your power. So you start at an eight and you will end at a four by the end of March. This means the, um, with the clarity coming in here, this will definitely definitely um, make the uh, situation de-escalate. So with overall energy, we have you, my Libras. We have balance. So this could have to do with the court or legal system going on here. Or this could just be harmonizing with your past and finding out what it is that's stopping you from moving forward. OK. Let's get more into it. All right. Yeah, this is somebody. This is some law, regress, and sorrow. This is somebody who's going to spill out their emotions to you. Um, somebody definitely going to reveal something. The reason, like, you feel like, like, I'm telling you, somebody either is guarding you or making you feel like you cannot move. Or it may even just be yourself here. But I feel like there is still deception and envy around you later um, in the month of March here. But you are highly guarded. I don't know if somebody's overprotective of you or you're overprotective of yourself, but you're looking for a new opportunity. This opportunity was blocked, so you're like, okay, what else? All right, but this is this is a person who studies and practices. Okay, this is a person who doesn't just look for an opportunity. This person actually just goes into it. Okay, they go into it, practice it, study it, see how it works. All right. So when they go into it the second time, it won't be hard and it will get off the ground. It won't be as hard to you know. Uh, get started and get off the ground. All right. When it comes to destiny here, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse, which means there is a love offer that you are not paying attention to or this or that is coming your way. But there is a delay. All right. And you might get some clarity on whoever this person is. But it looks like there's some per uh, somebody or something that you're supposed to be. This could be part of uh, this could be your soul's path. OK, as of, as of right now, you have no system direction is where you're supposed to go. But it looks like you're trying to research and see exactly what it is that you're supposed to be doing. This Ace of Cups might turn upward here. All right. And then we have when you get clarity, you're going to come out of your head. OK, because we have the nine of swords in reverse. This is going to come out your head, but this is going to be a time of where you I feel like you're still going to try to isolate yourself because there's going to be so much being revealed to you about what's been going on in your life here. OK. All right. And it's going to affect you on an emotional level. Yes. Um, whatever you seem to find, it feels like some of you may travel back to the past. There's some information that you received. You're going to have to travel back to the past, I feel like. Because you got to figure out what this is. And when it comes to deception, deception and envy, you're definitely going to find this out. Um, with the legal system and the justice and balance being in the shadows, this might be somebody who is going to jail for what they did because I'm seeing them tied up and hanging and with deception there and with also with the justice. So this is somebody who may have to serve time for something that they've done or this just could be them. Um, this just could be you at a stalemate position after finding out maybe who it is. <clears throat> All right. And as far as the finances, you may be trying to balance things right now. OK, you may be trying to juggle situations, juggle jobs and all this. It looks like you may be coming out of financial restraint, but it may take some time here. 
it's going to take a maybe a new job or a new occupation or some type of collaboration, some help coming out from here. And then we have the authorities definitely stepping in. This may be a father figure or somebody of that nature, but whatever this is, this is going to make you um, emotionally happy. After all this, all this stuff is revealed to you and you drop having to balance things because I believe you're just going to have to come out of this, this financial thing is going to be over. I'm really feeling like, especially if it's like it's some type of court case or something that was taken from you that you need back here. Um, whether it, it may just be emotions that's, that was taken or somebody that you were with. Okay, you had to let go of them. But all in all, you're going to come back into your control and you're going to feel that Ten of Cups energy. All right. And your overall energy, again, is the five of uh, pentacles in reverse. So this is coming out, okay? This is um coming out of that feeling, left in the cold feeling, all right? So let's see what we have here. A lot of this just has to do with you releasing, but you're definitely just going to, if it's just clarity within yourself about a situation that happened in the past, then it's just going to clear a lot of stuff for you. But I feel like this is going to lead, also lead you on your soul's path. And what it is, whatever it is, career opportunity that you are trying to look for, that you are trying to investigate, it is going to come to you. All right. Let's see about this love here. Young female. This could be you. This doesn't have to be gender based. This could be you or somebody else. This could also be a male. All right. You're going to start dating. All right. This is a past love situation. So you might be traveling back to the past, dating somebody from your past here. Looks like a mature male is going to step into your life and give you some and uh, bless you with some money here. Bless you with um, something very valuable. There might also be a mature woman in the mix of this, too, between you. This is this might what you be trying to might what you are going to find out. OK, somebody's in between your cash because this is what this is centered around. This is centered around some money here. Also, um, looks like when it comes to the dating thing, you're just going to be in an open relationship. You might receive some other type of unknown or exciting gifts here. All right. And then we have a courting man. This could be you trying to date or somebody trying to date you. So when it comes to your love life here, and this may be somebody who is distant, distant away from you here. So let's see here. We have a lot of people. When it comes to this young female, we have the king of pentacles energy. So this could be an earth sign. Okay. This could be a very stable earth sign. Looks like maybe you guys started dating or you don't have the strength to date them. Or maybe you guys broke up. Okay. Maybe you guys dated and broke up. This was definitely, it looks like a past love. But you have the seven of wands. You were able to conquer and get over this person. And now you have a decision to make. All right. But when it comes to this money, because I got I had this on the other one, but when it comes to whatever or valuable that's coming into you, this is going to take you to reconcile with somebody. This is going to take some flexibility. This is going to take um, a little 50-50 here. So this may also come from a family member, somebody from your past, old childhood. But when it comes to this, you're definitely going to have to um, kind of compromise with somebody. All right. When it comes to this mature woman, it is the king of cups here. So you have a lot of people around you here. But all these people are upright. So all these people are stable, I would say. When it comes to the open relationship, it looks like um, the relationship is just going to end. It looks like maybe uh, you and somebody is going to try to date for a while, but it's just not going to come into play for you. And when it comes to true gem, it looks like... Um, you might find out about a third party situation or the party just may be over between you and that other person here. All right. But the thing is, I think you're going to the true dream is about surprises. So somebody you may meet at a party or something like that, you may pick or they may try to court you. But the thing about it is you're not going to quite um, be up for the offer. And I just feel like it's because this open relationship or whatever this love that you had going on, it was somebody that you really cared for. OK, but somebody else steps in your life ready to date you and you're just like, no, I don't want to because you're going to have to make a decision. I'm pretty sure it's between multiple people here. But I feel like it's also going to be a money decision. But you're not going to take the uh, offer right off the bat. You're going to need some time to think about it here. And we have you at the seven of pentacles, which is a waiting type of energy. Some of you are waiting more on finances than anything. OK. And it looked like it may be coming into play. Now, let me get some, um, with this King of Pentacles here, get us some information. 
Cause this could be a male or female, but whoever it is, they they have they have their stuff together. I will say this is somebody who's being weighed down or is weighing you down. Like when I say that, it doesn't necessarily mean negative. It may be somebody that you're connected to. Okay, especially if it has to do with the past love here. Yes, I have the locket. This is a past love, but it's somebody that you may be soul connected to. This may be a soul tie, so it feels like uh feels like a weighing energy here. But it looks like it's something that didn't quite work out. All right. When it comes to the King of Cups energy here, see if I get anything. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, we have the fox. This is a snake. This is somebody very sneaky, and they might have something to do with this money here. Okay. This is a person that steals, or lies, or cheats, or whatever the purpose may be. Okay. So this may have been also a reason why this became an open relationship is because you found out about a third party situation and maybe they tried to come back or somebody new tried to come back and it's like, I don't want it. You're definitely going to find out about this person. Okay, maybe middle of March, end of March or beginning of April. You're going to find out that this person who's offering you this love, they have a lot of shit going on. And this is a more, this is a mature woman or male. So this is somebody kind of older. The other one is more young. Okay, the other person earlier or whatever is a lot more young in age. Okay, and it just looks like y'all have some type of soul connection here that maybe you haven't completed or a soul tie that hasn't been completed yet or you feel some type of magnetic pull to them. Looks like you start dating somebody else or somebody else coming to your life, but they're a snake. They're a fox. They're sneaky here. You're going to end it. All right. Yep. But they're, they're, they have the key to something. All right. They're a snake, but I feel like they have a key to something that you need to know. All right.